Welcome back to Skyward Sword. Today we're opening up the next area. It's kind of a pathetic way to start just crawling through a hole. <laughs> Welcome to... Hey, it's my favorite part. Mm-hmm. The same part we've seen twice before. In case you're shocked by that. Dramatically reenacted by a ballerina bird thing. <laughs> I like how he's still surprised, though. Oh, because it's coming from a different place. Yeah. Ball! Mom. <laughs> doesn't look right <laughs> plays with that. <laughs> Whose idea was this? You didn't pay your ticket to see me! 20 bucks! Please turn off all cell phones! Did I show you this move? I don't think I did. I call this one kick to the groin. <laughs> Kia! <laughs> so cute. When it's smaller. <laughs> Alright. Isn't it funny just one time as he cuts away? Ball! <laughs> just opens my <laughs> foot. I think this is the weirdest goddess song we've gotten yet. <laughs> It's a melody, I think, anyway. <laughs> Playing a song, I don't know. <laughs> Love glitter! I've been set on fire. <laughs> they could have done something different with this. I'm just kind of lazy. Black bird, green bird, red, purple bird, and sun. Sun, 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 sun. How did I play that with a harp? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what am I doing? What is this thing? Yeah! <laughs> I don't know, but I like it. I love an instantaneous joy out of it. What the hell? Now I have it! <laughs> it pops up just for a split second. Oh, goes back down. <laughs> Starts popping up, I'm down. You see a giant hammer come down. Yep. But Link is using the hammer. Oh, go back down! <laughs> All right. Now we've been to Faron and Laneru, so the next one will be in Elden. Pretty easy. Just roll through that hole. Yeah. You roll hold. Hole rolled, whatever. It works, and it's fast. Into the water! Not quite. That would imprint belly flop. You see him just float at the surface for like 10 minutes. You see bubbles go... <laughs> These are just a couple chests I want to get before we move on. I think we already have one of those. I thought we had more than one. The heart medals are different from the life medals. Heart medals just make uh, restorative hearts pop up more often. Because clearly we have a health issue here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You have more health than most bosses do. That is true. <laughs> About three bosses combined. <laughs> oh yeah, on the world map, if there's a speech bubble or something and you hover over it, it'll tell you what it is. In case you're not sure why Fledge's face is appearing there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Fledge is there. Why is this important? Fledge is an island. <laughs> That's why he's getting so muscular. <laughs> he's fine. He's actually doing lifts on an island. Dude, Link, do you even lift? Now I'm a country. <laughs> Stick a flag on me. <laughs> I'm the second love interest in this story. <laughs> Dakota. <laughs> See, I would imagine an area like this that's so hot that you have this big, really warm updraft just push you right back up. I don't know. Sounds like science. <laughs> smells like science. It's probably science. <laughs> hmm. Smells like old science here. Put it back in the fridge. Use your dousing ability to find lava. Congratulations, you found lava. Ooh, there's Gorko here. How long it took him about five seconds to register that he was looking at you? <laughs> he just turned around. Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Now, the reason I'm all the way down here... Oh, um, 
By talking to him, I can now douse for uh, goddess cubes, which is very useful for when I get to uh, collecting everything that I'm missing before I get to the final boss. Now, the reason that I'm down here and I'm not going directly to uh, where the Silent Realm is is I didn't talk to the bird statue there, so it didn't open up on the map. But, um, so there's the bird statue right there. I should have talked to you, but here's the silo. So if you did that way earlier, you wouldn't have had to have done that before. Yep. But hey, I got the goddess cube dowsing thing, which is useful, so. Works for me. How badly do I do with this? <laughs> I'm playing some. <laughs> I was like, this isn't in two. <laughs> Let me adjust the 16th string. You really aren't playing this with any form of skill. That is true. <laughs> I'm following the beat, though. <laughs> that took forever. And that was not enjoyable. <laughs> Look how he plays it. Battle! <laughs> 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 it looks it looks and sounds so stupid. It's so lame. <laughs> Music. Okay, that was the best one yet. <laughs> yeah. That was hilarious. It's so funny if he just drops to one knee and starts playing an electric guitar. <laughs> it would sound just as shit, so <laughs> plugs it into an amp. I like to hear an electric distorted harp. I like, I'd love to hear an electric harp. Someone make one. Ooh, gee, this lava seems clear. I'll move to the other patch of lava. Though. Still death. <laughs> this might be the hardest Silent Realm, if only because the tears are really spread out for this one. Oh, heartburn. <laughs> Another pun! Oh, I'm playing too much of Dino Cooney. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you just pulled a spine out of your heart. Oh god, you're right. <laughs> they look like the spines from Metal Gear Rising. That'd be kind of sad if you did pull it out and crush it in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's right again. Oh god, nano paste. Now, since it's only a little guy chasing after me, I am in no immediate danger. Aww. Wow, he got close, too. He's like, when I revive, so help me God. Well, when they go back to sleep, they go to where they originally were. I, I think it's most creepy that he's he was staring right at me. Aw, really? I hate that one on a cliff. Imagine you being chased. That's not fair. Let's see. At least there's those big glowy icon things. That does certainly help. Yeah. Imagine if you didn't have those there to find them. This isn't fun. Here's to be some kind of animal spine. You pulled that one out of your heart, too. <laughs> Crush it. Rules of danger! Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that's. I guess that's another thing that Tears of Heart do is, is refill your stamina. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> you just noticed. Yeah, I just noticed. Hey, a full stamina. It just must be a coincidence. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> that rope is not in the real world. And it's not the easiest thing to see, either. I see you just leaping for that thing on accident. Thank God they made the same shade as all the backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And that was pointless. In the main world, there is a chair in there, but we don't get hurt in this world. In this silent realm, there is no need for chairs. <laughs> Only ropes. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> this other realm has a lot less of the overworld fenced off. It'd be kind of interesting if you could escape this area, and then the entire world is a silent realm. That would be pretty cool. It looks so weird that you're balancing when you're angling like that. 
Yeah. But your body's completely rigidly straight. Whoa! Whoa! Wonder how he never learned how to talk. Do we assume that Link does talk, or is he still? He's just constantly silent. Nobody mentions it. This Link does appear to actually talk. It's just we don't hear him. Because you know they do a lot of those games where you know the silent protagonist talks, but they're, it's just more like you hear the guy go, "Oh, you mean that you keep your shoes in the closet?" And then it's just like, "Well, I didn't hear him say that." <laughs> they kind of do that. It's we have this brief bit of. Link opening his mouth up and down and moving his hands around. But then it just, the camera pans away like, you don't want to see this. I <laughs> like how he went fuck no when that guy walked by. <laughs> Maybe he just says that and then the other characters are like, okay, Link, yeah, good job. <laughs> you did it. I can infer from your cosmic energies something. <laughs> I, I'm trying to read your lips. I think I got some of it. Wow. Look at what I missed. Uh, that didn't look like the easiest one to get either. Nope. And you only got three petals left. So just grab that one there. Yep. That one is usually one you want to save for last. Because um, near the top there's this slide that we would go down. And um, Since that's a relatively easy one to get, it's one you want to save for later. Or for a case where you're really low, running low on time. He just burned your ass. Mm -hmm. Shows what exactly? Nothing. Oh, okay. It's like how when I drowned in sand in a Lanaru Silent Realm, nothing happened. You just wasted our time. Dink. <laughs> I am a dumbass. I, 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 I. Is the bone still sinking? Yes, it is. <laughs> You're just standing there blinking. Like, oh my God, they're alive. Oh God, lava. I am quite proud of this, though. There's not a lot of them that could come after me. That guy is not even going to bother, so... Hooray! <laughs> Was that the last one? No. I know, I'm about to say there's like six more. <laughs> so you see the one for last to be like the middle one you picked. You better not run into this guy again. You're not saying anything because you do, don't you? No, I'm fine. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were being quiet because you're just like... Eh. I don't know if I do run to another one. I just know I make it. That's all I'm worried about. <laughs> That's all that really matters. So you got this far and had to start over. Just like... It's so weird when he does that without a seal cloth. How is he doing that? And how's it not burning his skin off? <laughs> this is an interesting area. Usually it's so hot we immediately catch fire. And that cave is where we'll be going as soon as we've gotten through this Silent Realm. It's a lava honeycomb. <laughs> Wee! Oh, that's bullshit. What was... Oh, it can shove you right into that water? If you don't angle it right, yeah. Fuck that noise. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, it's more stamina. I could run up these sand hills, no problem. I think I can't. The water's design is just so weird. Because it's, it's like... You know, it's actually not rounded off. It's all, like, triangled and weird. Aw, oh, that really sucks. <laughs> Vince on over bottomless pits. Yeah. Where the hell are the other ones? I don't know. But they should be sticking out with big beacons or something. Oh, oh I thought you were going to touch it that time. Yeah, thankfully, no. I'm sure you're just like, ah! I remember now, the last ones are in the pathway upwards from where the entrance was. Which is right here, thankfully. If I don't be a dumbass, I go up here. Unless there's one more up here I don't remember, because it's been forever since I recorded these. I was like, we just did this. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Wait, did, oh, do we miss them again? I don't see them on the map. Usually they pop up those big glowy things. We're just going back the same way we did. 
Yep, I had to go the other way. This is gonna oh take my oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to book it for this next one. And I'm pretty sure I don't make it before the timer runs out, but I do get to it eventually. Gamey stamina, don't you wanna live? Oh no, the train's coming! You should use the creepiest music, too. There's an interesting six million dollar man pause there. <laughs> that was scary. Burn. Burn. Oh god, oh god, oh god. They can't see me if I hang on the ledge. <laughs> That's clearly a spider, ignore him. <laughs> Two-legged spider, someone stepped on it, I guess. <laughs> oh dear. It's wearing a green suit, it's not very fashion conscious, okay? <laughs> Give it the benefit of the doubt, it's probably embarrassed. <laughs> probably doesn't want us to see it. And the last one's right down there. Done. Done. Why did I run that way? Sure. Might even have Shadow the Colossus with those uh, stone serpents that use the spotlights to see you. Definitely adds a, a feeling of fear because you're always just worried, what if they see me? Oh, uh, you mean Journey? Yeah, that's what I mean. What did I say? Shadow the Colossus. Oh, did I? I'm just so, I'm playing games so much. Just spoiled the final boss. Sorry, guys. Son of a bitch, it's Journey. <laughs> <laughs> you have to play the game, and then you stab uh, the cloth man at the end. I made it, Shank. <laughs> I revived my girlfriend. Am I a man or a woman? <laughs> Is she a man or a woman? Sorry, I had to see her cloak because it was just fabulous. <laughs> Turn <to> release. <laughs> pew pew pose. That video will not be up by the time this one is. I don't care. <laughs> you guys have something to look forward to. Context. Yep. So good. We don't have to deal with that anymore. Is that the last one or do we have to deal with more of them? I'm not gonna say. We have to do it. Oh, shit. <sighs> but anyway, from finishing that, we get the fire shield earrings, which we can see on Link's or Dumple's character model. That allows us to go into this room, which would usually set us on fire immediately. We're fine. <laughs> Be funny as you're trying to put him in, since so he doesn't have pierced ears. He's like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> but then it dings and it doesn't burn anymore. I'm on fire! Ow. Never mind. And every time we enter a new room, uh, like if it has to load or something, the earrings will ding again. They also put out fires when we get caught on fire. It just takes a couple seconds. I wonder how that works. I don't know. It just sucks the, the fires in. Basically, it means we're immune to fire. Because we all know that fire in English is called fire. Mm. We're immune to English. Yep. What about fractions? I don't know. <laughs> I like the idea of a place that as soon as you walk in, you burst into flames. It's just such a weird thought. The insulation here is amazing. I feel so toasty. <laughs> So these guys really have no effect on anything. Yep. Or do they? Nope. Those guys do, though. Those are different from the other fire frog things. You can see how it works now. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those guys, they spit you uh, with some kind of curse globule. That basically means we can't use our weapons. And that's kind of a Zelda staple. Um, we haven't seen it for a little while. Like, um, usually it's the bubbles, I think, that do that. Just the flying skulls. But in this one, it's just something that spits at you. No more flying skulls in this one? No. Oh. I don't think there are. Well, that's not very Zelda-esque, because they usually just keep everything from the old games. Nintendo, keep our traditions alive for 25, 30 years. <laughs> 
I'm filling up the water bottles here. It's gonna be said for something for Nintendo for keeping their same tradition for so long. This this game is kind of weird. It's like yeah, we mentioned making it for the 50th anniversary for the uh, Zelda series and then trying to change everything. It really loses direction. 50th. What is 25th? I think. <laughs> it's like wow, I'm old. Zelda is old, guys. Yeah. <laughs> You don't know who you are. I like these ideas of even in this area that has all this lava and stuff, there's areas with selective vines. Mm hmm. No, I thought there was something I could claw shot down or to get down to those vines. I'm actually supposed to jump and I don't realize that. So not doing that right now. I thought you were going to backflip. <laughs> I'm going to risk it all to look cool. I would die if I tried to do that. You're supposed to jump so that you go into a skydive. Oh, God. Now, those slimes aren't intimidating at all now. Well, they weren't intimidating because of the name for Chews, but either way. Mm -hmm. Chew! At least they're not electric Chews. So you still haven't learned. Hey, how did he get down here? I don't know. You can just walk right through the fire, I think. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's what he was doing while we were in the Silent Realm. Bleh. I'll beat him, I'm gonna beat him, I'm gonna beat him. Fire! Bleh. 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 Silent the frog. I don't know how to do that! <laughs> he, he walks like he really needs to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Thank God the door's open! Or like he's really, really happy. Volcano butterflies. The gust stone pops up, please stop playing. <laughs> you don't know how. Yes, they're warm tones, as in they're burning my ears. I think it's kind of pointless for a, a thing that's going boing when it's bouncing around to have talk and say boing oing. <laughs> it's kind of like when you walk up to a dog in a game and it says woof. It's like, well, that's expected. <laughs> Like, you walked into a dog and it just made a cough sound. <laughs> but they don't explain it. I would just kind of walk and be like, uh. We bet if we walk up to a dog, it just goes, uh. <laughs> or what? I think I just blew up a dung beetle. <laughs> no more poopy for you. <laughs> I did. He's dead. That's his little spirit. He's got a bigger heart than he has his body. <laughs> he was a generous soul. He shared the poop. And rupees. And rupees. It's not sharing them now. I would like the idea of you actually using water to fight the boss. Like you had to bring cups of water to fight him. That would have kind of sucked, though. <laughs> when you splash, we just start smelting. Ah! <laughs> I like how he dumps water. Just, eh, get off. <laughs> get out of there. I think when he dumped it on the water dragon, it was probably the best. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> that was weird. What the? Happily, happily, happily. <laughs> now we've got a huge frog, and we can't get up there. Hey, look, this looks very Hindu. Maybe it follows that kind of tradition. We had the, you know, the kind of oriental temple for the water, and this one's got more of a Hindu look to it, or maybe even Egyptian. It's got that kind of just very... To me, it looks more like Hindu, Indian... Kind of like that. Yeah, kind of. We're traveling the nations of the world. And killing all the people in them. <laughs> As it should be. <laughs> Are there baby scorpions in here? I hope so. You hand one a glass of water and it drinks it. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> like, my day is made. I just imagine this cute little scorpion holding a big jar full of water with a happy face. <laughs> or happy eye, I should say. It doesn't really have a face, just as an eye. Over here is a goddess cube. I'm going to grab this before I uh, do what I need to do to get through there. Which is not the best part of the game. This is a really long chain. Oh, God. Oh, dear, that didn't work. Take two. 
<laughs> you just <laughs> pop him right back up there. Well, that was pointless. I still think these enemies are pretty cool. They're like kung fu lizards. That, wow. <laughs> You're stronger than you thought. Not respawning up there, bitch. <laughs> if you want to be dead. Like, oh, come on. <laughs> it goes around, comes around. And it continues on to the night. Maybe when you look down, actually, wait as he falls, and then he falls right on top of you. Ah! <laughs> it's an infinite loop. That's so worth five rupees, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. No. Let's get out of here. Please. I was like, I better talk to that bird so I don't forget to. Oh, it's my only way out. Okay. <laughs> Get the hell out of here! <laughs> no, you'll remember the water dragon was sitting around in this water basin. I'm gonna go see if she still has it. That might be big enough to uh, quench that frog's thirst. And hey, maybe a minute will help you take it there. Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. If it's not Midna, that means. Is that robot gonna take it there for you? Yep. Uh, we got another scrapper minigame, and it sucks. It'd be funny if I actually flew through the ceiling to get in there to grab it. <laughs> I made it. You just, just desecrated my temple. No, there's a big hole there for no reason. Oh. Watered basin, you say? You mean my urine trap? I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has been in it for a long time. Smash! <laughs> <laughs> it just falls to the ground dead. Well, let's get someone who can actually carry this out. Bird to dessert! But dessert serves a dessert! Water dragon kills it. <laughs> <laughs> I saved you the trouble. He looked tasty. But I still chose not to eat him because he's annoying. <laughs> I'm surprised he hits him so the water in short circuits. That would be hilarious, but no. <laughs> that was a delayed pause. Yep. It's funny, he still has the hots for me. How amusing. <laughs> I wonder how many pieces his heart will break into. 3.14. <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> Now, before I go to Scrapper, I'm going to do a little bit of inventory management and finishing off this little side quest since it's available right now. Are you going? Are you guys dating? Are you steady? <laughs> We're going steady. Insofar as I get the gratitude crystal. <laughs> Gold digger. <laughs> what? I'm not really in love with her. <laughs> I'm, cl I'm clearly a bastard, so... <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'll over for a grat those gratitude crystals, that's it. You knew what this was! <laughs> hey, Mr. Grumpy. Yeah, I can see that. You just got a back. <laughs> <laughs> you got a spine crush. Yum. I still like when you walk away, it's just like, ugh. <laughs> Didn't see you there! I'm blind! You're my only customer, thank god! <laughs> I'm gonna upgrade the quiver to hold more arrows, and I'm gonna upgrade the bow. Because Scrapper decides he wants to run us through a little shooting minigame. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make this as easy for myself as possible. <laughs> It's not nearly as bad as that. You even, you even see Scrapper pull out a trumpet and play in your face. <laughs> <laughs> you told him about this, didn't you? But no, this really is the point where the game starts shoveling on the padding, but the bullshit padding, it starts turning into Armageddon, where just stupid things happen to us that have no reason to be happening. We'll see it in a little bit, because, um... Just remember, Scrapper is a dumb shit. If you didn't hate him yet, I'll look forward to it. Mm -hmm. 
this quest is actually why everyone hates Scrapper. Not just because he's an asshole, but because of this. But hey, at least I can upgrade my bow fully, and now it's completely badass. I can shoot anything from anywhere, and okay. incredibly accurately. <laughs> you shoot it from this little bazaar, and it hits Scrapper like it's 10 miles away. <laughs> then the little pot drops on the frog. Yay! Yep. <laughs> Did my job! <laughs> if that was the real side quest, I would have liked Scrapper. <laughs> you go back there, he's impaled into the wall. Master! <laughs> Did I do a good job? It's a cool looking bow. Yeah, it is. I think I upgrade the quiver one more time. Yes, I do. Why can't you upgrade the uh, shield? I'm missing a blue bird feather. Okay. Uh, those are the rare versions of the regular bird feathers. They actually start spawning down in front of the um, was it the sealed temple? Right after we've gone through all of this, so I just farm from there in the next part. I will never run out of blue bird feathers ever again. <laughs> Which is ironic, because you only need one. Mm, no, I need them for quite a few things. For some reason, the blue bird feathers are always necessary for the very last upgrade of something. You just mash it in the shield and like it's fixed. Now it's pretty. Like your girlfriend. So you're asking for this whole date situation, but I just want to get rid of some stuff. <laughs> I'll come to your house. Don't worry. Just promise you won't talk to me until then. I'll upgrade that shield a little later. I want to upgrade everything at least once so you can see what it looks like. But I'll worry about it later when I have the things. And I figure since she's pestering me about it, I'll go see her at night. There are cuter girls in the village. What are you doing? They're all taken. Zelda isn't. Where is she? She's gone. Well, she'll come back. You wait. Actually, one girl is taken because Pivot has her. The other girl, she, I think she's single. Errol, I think is her name. Ariel. It's the girl with the uh, ponytail. She lives with her brother, but I don't think it's that kind of relationship with him. Oh, yeah. No. She'll work. But she doesn't, so I guess we're stuck with Pietrus. Ugh. Something about those eyebrows is what <laughs> is the worst part. The mole I can get used to, it's just the eyebrows. You clearly dye your hair, you bitch. Well, you know, if that mole was just an inch or two lower, it'd be called Beauty Mark. Yep. At that point, it's just called a witch. <laughs> Stop doing that with your hands. She kind of looks like one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you about to go haunt uh, Banjo-Kazooie? I mean, I don't want to make judgments here, but... You actually got uglier. How did that work? <laughs> oh my god, you're actually uglier at night. <laughs> no, I'm, don't tell him that. We're fine. Your dad's small face will terrify me. <laughs> It'll actually grow bigger. We don't want to see that. <laughs> as soon as you grab the, the... I always call it gratuity crystal, because I like calling it that. Gratuity crystal, you just turn around and go, Yes, I got the crystal anyway. We're broken up. See ya. Well, there are like 80 of them. I didn't know she wore bell bottoms. Am I the only one who thinks bell bottoms look kind of cute? They do. <laughs> this way, he looks so depressed now. <laughs> Can't even bother to work off this belly. And I get to sleep on my bed! <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. Dan, your daughter, she's loved me. Don't love her back. Anyway, this is my bed now. <laughs> You're doing it well, Hellspawn! <laughs> hey, money. Money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so much. Thank you so very much. Oh my, that's so much! <laughs> I just can't take it in. 5,000 rupees. It does seem like rupees pretty much rain from the sky in this game. They do, but there are more uses, so it works out. No armor is to waste it on. Yeah. I think you sold your soul to the devil! 
Why does he look sad? Splashes holy water in her face. Thank you for... Ugh, fucking god, Fee. That's great timing, because there are only, like, three or so gratitude crystals I can actually douse for now. Timing's impeccable. Mm-hmm. I'm just the ugooiest... Okay. <laughs> I've been waiting here for five hours. You lazy fuck. It's heavy, Berserk! You're a robot, you don't even have muscles. And of course, now Moblin Archers spawn from everywhere. I don't even know how I got out here. I'm stuck here. <laughs> I've been encased in the ground for a week. So let me guess, he tries to he tries to flap the summit, and you basically have to shoot those guys to get him out of the way. Yeah. So they don't hit him. All of the enemies attack Scrapper now. Look, he has water! I'm thirsty! Get him! But luckily, I got a motherfucker bow. I'm fine. Got a motherfucking bow. I'm trying to remember how to select a shield. There we go. You're like, I <laughs> like your stand with your sword point forward. Uh... <laughs> Look at the distance I can get on these. You are going the distance. He's going for speed. There you go. Can you kill the big guy with one arrow? Not with one arrow, but with a, a surprisingly small amount of them. And I actually do do that for a few of the Moblins. This doesn't seem too tough. Well, no, because I got the motherfucker bow. I wish it was called the motherfucker bow. <laughs> Better leave your mama at home because it's the motherfucking bow. <laughs> Thank God they buried some arrows in the ground. Or maybe he just fired so powerfully that he hit it and killed it that way. <laughs> I'm not going to react to my partner's death, whatever. To emphasize what the sacred bow does, um, your arrows travel an incredible distance before ballistic trajectory takes effect. So you can shoot them from, like, all the way across the map. And, um... Also, th uh, they're two or three times as strong now. So you could kill quite a few things effectively with it. <laughs> Ow! We need to kill that guy because uh, we need to go through with these P-hats, which appear out of nowhere. Just for this. Kind of like the Bacoblins. We strategically placed him here for it. Berserk! Wait for me. Yeah, if you get any distance ahead of Scrapper, he whines at you. Ah, why can't I fly? Oh, wait. This is the piss and moan escort mission. I'm getting lonely. My feet hurt even though I'm flying. Where are you going? I shoot you. Who are they? Why are you killing them? Why are they shooting at me? <laughs> Can't we just talk? I'm bored. Keep moving! <laughs> Did you bring food? I'm hungry. I need to pee. Can I put this down for a minute? Clang spill. <laughs> Why'd you tell me to put do that? <laughs> Shoot him right in his asshole. Wow. <laughs> I uh, missed opportunity. You know, this, this guy, he doesn't attack Scrapper, he always goes after me. But Scrapper's still gonna bitch and scream at me. What the? Leave my ass out of this! <laughs> Take a damn guess, Scrapper. Hey, look, I did a shield bash. He's just standing, he's just floating there. I'm in trouble over here. You're right behind me. <laughs> Screams near, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Come over here and help me. You're behind me. <laughs> oh, cursed keys. By the way, all of the enemies that spawn for this mission stay for the rest of the game. The scrapper brought them to your presence. Great. That nice shot. Yeah, thank you. I really like the fully leveled up bow. You are kind of a bow fan. Mm -hmm. Well, I like first person aiming. Especially when 
if anything the Wii does correctly is pointing. Pointing is very accurate, so it's fun. <laughs> you shot my hand. Uh. I just realized I probably could have gone through that way. That was kind of an awful guard. You just walked right by him. Welcome to our circus. Let's see how many arrows it takes to kill him. He kind of faked me out there. Yeah, he's like, ah, I'm fine. Three? Damn. Wow. This thing rules. The motherfucking bow. The motherfucker bow. I just imagine linking a rap video about his bow. Let's not encourage that. I would hate it. I can imagine it, but I would hate it. Just watch that's going to be the fan art that we get. Now you said it, it's going to come to pass. So. If, if any of the people from Tumblr do it, though, it'll be cool. Of course. Everything that dude an artist complex draws is awesome. I can't believe I got that shot. That he just did that out of a hoax and actually worked. Just, that's awesome. <laughs> Wait for me at the bottom. You are off. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he's just cheering over there by himself. Woo! We did something. Woo! To no purple vision, like we need it. Oh. That'd be funny for the last. that be funny if the last one Goron like threw something at it, killed it. <laughs> It'd be cool if it got help from Gorko. <laughs> About time. Good God. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> got fire earring thing. Let's <laughs> some more. We need to go all the way up to where the. This is definitely kind of the western town thing they did in Twilight Princess. Yeah, kind of right. I never realized that. <laughs> Where's like that one just because it had all that western music going on? <laughs> My tits! <laughs> See how many it takes for these guys. They're a bit stronger than the regular Moblin. Four so far. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> Help me, Link! I'm being attacked! Shut up! <laughs> I'm looking at you. You are not. No bats in there. There usually are. How long is this? Jesus. Longer than it needs to be. I don't think so. Ow. 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 Stop it! Two more arrows than the ones to the wooden ones, I guess. Still not bad. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm not even worried about even dropping, I'm just worried about him complaining. <laughs> My nose is itchy, hurry up! Scrapper will actually take a decent bit of damage before he gives up. Here's the here. I think in realism, if it was that hot, like the water would like boil out of that thing. That's a good point. Good God. This is so. Yeah, I can imagine why you'd hate him. This is turned into an escort mission. Who likes escort missions? Nobody. We've got some guys down there. Can't kill those people with bows. Why did you get near me? You could have stayed up there and let me kill them first. They and now they're going after Scrapper. And they do quite a bit of damage, and I can't attack him. The Scrapper decided to hang out near you. So if, they, if he does run away, does it mean you have to start from the very beginning? No, thankfully, here we can see him giving up. When he does that... How do we repair it? Do better next time? So what does that mean? Like my shit, Scrapper. 
Now, um, luckily, when he does that, all the enemies you killed before are still dead. Is this you going back and having to get him again? Huh? Did you have to go all the way back to the beginning again? No, 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 no. We started right from that uh, entrance. Oh, thank God. But still, do better, Link. <laughs> You know, he could have just flown over this entire area to get to the ruins, but no. Let's get this shit over with. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> There's no other way to describe it, this is just awful. Even with the motherfucker bow. Even with the motherfucker bow. But you walk up and go that Goron has like a big jug of water he's drinking, huh? Did you need something? <laughs> Well, look at look at how Scrapper pours this. Kind of like you pour the. <laughs> Imagine if that didn't work. I know it worked. Imagine if it didn't. Did you see that, Mr. B? <laughs> oh God, is that? <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> He's like, he just dropped and flung. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> that was worth it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Never heard you laugh that hard. Because <laughs> it's such a deliberate picking up method. And it's just like, he's, like it slipped out of his hand and he dropped it. He's like, hey, he did it. Oh, uh, Christ. Next time, we will enter the fire sanctuary. Ah, uh, yes. That was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.